Hey everyone, welcome back. So we're going to do the tutorial on how to basic edit. We're editing the footage that we shot in the studio where I'm teaching you guys how to set up a VJ kit. So first things first, we need to utilize our timeline. Our timeline is where you'll be making all of your basic edits. Um, this is your effects panel. It looks a little different depending on what workspace you choose. This is my own personal computer, so it might look different than the one you have at school, but there'll be an effects panel, a timeline, program is what is actually being played in your timeline. Your source is coming from the video under your project. It's kind of where all the screens are. So it says drop media here to create a sequence. I'm going to drop the media. There you go. Here, if you can see, this is the source of the video. You can either do it that way, since you have the timeline already set. Here, I'm going to name it VJ Tutorial. It's kind of the same as the same as the other project I made. If you look in my source though, I'm going to use my in and out functions because I already have where I want to start. So in and out, the shortcuts you can use, I like to use shortcuts. Um, I is in, O is out. You can also use these, which is marking in. So I mark it in. And Three, two, okay. okay. I'm gonna start right before I say hey. So mark it in. You could use I or that base bar. Everyone. And then this is the whole video of my tutorial for you guys. All right, so we're gonna to go to the end of it. I think this is just about. Thanks. Okay, right there. So you can either click O or the mark out. This is the actual clip that I, I can make a little bit of edits if I want, but that's the only section I want. So what I'm gonna do is since I already have my timeline set up, it's called insert. You insert it right there. Just so that way I'm not importing the whole footage and I basically did my editing right there, some basic editing at least. If you wanted to, you can always have a little fun. To, you, to cut something, cut is when you take a piece of the footage and slice it from another. Cut is C, pretty simple. See, I cut it like that. Now I have the freedom to move this piece and put it somewhere else, delete it, do whatever I want with it. By the way, Apple Z is undo. So I remember here, cut. And then to get back to the multi-tool, multi it's called. Uh, Multi-selection tool. It's different names depending on what program you use. It's this little arrow right there. It'll, you highlight it, click selection tool, and then you can click it, and that gives you the function to be able to move stuff around. You can also use V. So C is for cut, V is selection. Pretty easy. When you're doing your packages, you want to cut off things like the beginning part where if you look here, and this one is where I'm setting things up, getting things ready before Don was just shooting it, you can cut that out. Um, if there's any other parts you want to cut out, you can do that as well. But that's pretty much it. To edit your video, you're in the V1. A1 through 4 is your audio channels. If you ever have problems with those, you want to lower or higher them, try to make sure you're always around negative 12 for your audio. I am. Don had great audio. Didn't have to worry about that. But if you did have to move it around, I like doing this where I bring this bar up just by using that keyword. And you can change your audio. Turn it down, bring it up. You have a lot of functions there. If you had another clip and you were meshing like two different parts together, well, you might be you might do that. Maybe if you're going from like your interview to your stand-up, what you would do is use an effect type in, sorry, fade, and it's called exponential fade. So say I wanted, oops, go back to my timeline here, cut this, and I wanted a smooth transition, you just take the, over the cut, and you put it there, and then it gives a nice smooth okay. transition. That's okay, right You can always do I don't think you're going to hear it though, but that's how you do that. To do a dissolve, if you, if I wanted to dissolve there, probably not a great place to dissolve, we'll try it, you click cross the basic fade for the video part. You can see it, I don't know if you can or not, if I zoom all the way in, here we go, I think it's, oh, there we go. And if you look in this little screen, I'll make it larger for you guys, you can see the fade actually happening. A 1080i, 60i, this is great. Oh, right. why didn't that work? I have to cut that part. Hmm. Let's try a part where it's gonna go from something to something. Two different scenes, maybe that'll help a little bit better, okay. We're going to take this part right here and go from this shot 
I'm just gonna cut this out. Oh, by the way, you click on it, you click delete. That's how you get rid of it. I am having some massive problems. Okay, I give up. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, there we go. Now what he was messing up. Okay, cross dissolve over top. See that fade? There you go. All right. So now it's gonna fade. Stuff. Watch this. There you go. So. See? Now obviously you're gonna want something cleaner than that, but just to give you an idea how fade works. Other things you can learn, you can always Google stuff if you need help with color correcting, cropping, um, your effects control. If you click on the um, clip, click effects control, you have control over motion, which is if you want to bring, scale in or scale out. You have control over moving your position of your frame around. Rotation, opacity, um, that's always a good thing to note. If you have any other questions, guys, my best bet is Google. I've used uh, Google and YouTube help you out. Uh, when you are editing a Vogue shot, that was one of the things um, Maria and Michelle wanted me to touch base on. If you're editing a package, say this was my package right here. I had all the elements, I clipped them together, you have your interviews, your, it wouldn't look like this, it looked like pieced up, um, but you have the idea. This would be it. If I had a Vogue shot, say this part was just my B, B, my B roll. Excuse me. Here, we'll just uh, we'll do this. I'm gonna unlink, which is Apple L, so I'm unlinking the video with the audio. Delete this stuff. Here's just my B-roll. Say the, you're gonna have an anchor read over this. You would export it just as this is, as a VO. And then in another setting, another sequence, you can always make a new one by going new sequence from clip. Then here would be my SOT. This would be my interview, just for, just pretend. So I have my VO here, I'd export it, and then I'd have my SOT here and I'd export it. And you'd have to export it as two separate clips and you'd have to import them into Keep Rose, two separate clips. We'll get into the both of those tutorials next, but that's what it should look like. Your SOT, which is the video and the interview, and just the video here. I hope that helps, guys.